Ew. Oh, my eyes. Oh, not half bad. Oh, God, seriously? What the fuck? Okay, I hope I did not insult any of you guys. Whose houses those may have been, those were just taken off of my server when I was looking for ugly houses. Alright, so today we're going to do something I don't usually do. We're going to show you how to turn a stupid house like this into a nice, simple, and sexy house like this. Or like that. I actually had to do this. I built two because I made that one originally. And then I made this one for the one that I just recorded that I forgot to record the audio for. So I was... I crapped my pants in sadness. But anyways... This is the uh, house tutorial. I'm going to show you how to turn a stupid house into a nicer house um, without too many supplies. So basically, uh, the first thing we're going to do is depth. Your house always needs to have depth. If you have a cube, um, you're going to look like the freaking noob of the server. So never make your house a cube. Cubes are cubes are for schmoobs. I don't think that's a word. Um, but okay, we have depth now, and depth is okay. Now, I actually kind of made this out of... I made this up as I went, and I put fence posts in the corners. I have not seen that very often. But it, I think it kind of looked cool. Um, let's do a little bit of corner fence posting, like that. Okay, the next step here is to work on the roof, because right now our roof looks kind of stupid. I think we can agree on that um, very, very easily. So what we did here is that is a stair. So I went around the outside like this with... I'm doing that wrong. Don't mind me. Just uh, doing everything wrong over here. That was wrong, right? See, I, uh, I obviously have not planned this out very well. Uh, okay, this is how it goes. So we're going to go like this. We're going to go around the outside. I'm going to leave a space right there. But we don't actually want that block right there. Uh, and you'll see why in a minute. So I'm going to come back to you when I have finished this little layer. And I'll show you what it looks like. Alright, so that is what your roof should look like when you've done that first layer. Obviously, I'm, uh, I don't do this very often. So if I'm a little rusty, that's why. Um, also notice I use spruce things, spruce planks, because if you use normal, it looks kind of stupid. Besides having depth to a house, you need a color change. Uh, your house will definitely look a little stupid if you have only one color. So make sure you utilize all the different colors of wood and stone, whatever you're working on. Um, so to finish off the roof here, we're going to line this with stone, just like so. And then we're going to fill in the insides with wood, like that, and we're going to cover it with uh, more spruce wood slabs. So I'll get back to you when I finish that. Okay, so I finished the roof, and as you can see, it is looking nicer, but really your house still looks kind of dumb. It's still not really worthy of being called a house. Uh, now, the first thing we're going to want to do here is uh, hook ourselves up with some of these nice things. And to work on the... Oopsies. To work on the in... Okay, I quit. To work on the insides, we're going to need uh, a little bit of light. Now, before we even do that, though, let's get rid of this. Your house should always have jumping room. A house with a low roof may look okay from the outside where you can't tell, but from the inside, it's always going to look stupid. So, uh... Just get rid of this portion of the roof. That was just that's this is what was your original roof when you still had that stupid square. Um, now that you have a real roof, you can get rid of this and have a house that looks legit. Okay, so the next thing is windows. We're gonna put a uh, spruce slabs on each side. That kind of adds like a, a shutter look. I think it makes it look nice. And we're always gonna be symmetrical here. We're gonna keep one block on each side that's open. Um, because symmetry is good and we're going to keep our colors spaced. We would never put this spruce slab here and this one here because we would end up with too many colors too close to each other and that is what we're trying to avoid. So we're also going to do that over here. We have three nice sized windows uh, like that. And then you don't have to follow patterns exactly. Up here we're actually just going to put in three windows because if we were to do spruce slabs it would just be one window and the window would be like the size of its shutters and that'd be a little weird. And we don't need to follow that pattern everywhere. So now your house is kind of okay. Um, it's looking better. From the outside it looks okay, but you're not really done either, so we need to do a little bit more. I'm going to do the floor now and get back to you when I finish with that. So the floor is done here. Uh, what I've done basically is taken spruce logs and gone around the outside and then spruce slabs in the middle. The reason I've done this is because if, uh, uh, although these are different colors, we still want to separate textures too. Um, so although they are different color woods, we want to keep the textures apart because that's another step to making a nice well-balanced house. So I've separated everything with uh, the logs. Now what we're going to do here is decorate the inside because uh, that's, that's that's important. So we're going to make those trees that everyone knows how to make, I hope. Uh, just kind of stack them up and I believe we need them only in these two corners. Um, like so. And we'll just put signs on them. It kind of makes them look more like a pot and not uh, less like a stupid stupid log, because as far as I know, no one actually keeps logs in their house. I mean, raise your hand if you do, but I don't think that's how people roll. And we'll put a bed right here. Now we're going to want bookshelves. Uh, bookshelves are definitely a piece of decorating. So we'll get that, and we're going to need furnaces, and we're going to need a crafting table. So the bookshelves, and I actually didn't need those, 
The bookshelves are going to run all the way along this thing. And bookshelves just kind of give it a homely feel, you know. They're one of the few blocks in Minecraft that are decorated to be something else. If you get what I'm saying, like they are something. And, oh, what did I put in that corner? I think it was, I think it's like that. I'm not quite sure, and it doesn't need to be exactly like mine either. So we're going to put a crafting table, furnace on each side, because we want this house to work, you know, be like an actual house. Um, so now we're going to need chests, and I am filming this on Christmas Day, actually, although it's not going live on Christmas, so that's why these chests look like this and don't look like normal chests. Can't put one there. Actually, let's not put one there. Symmetry, guys, symmetry. And I think we can put one there, because what we're going to do right here is we're going to make a piston table, and I think most of you know how to do that. If you don't, um, it's very simple. You just drop in a redstone torch, put a piston right there, and we have a table. And, of course, we need somewhere to sit. You can't just have a table. Uh, so we'll put in one of these right here, these right here, and then always put arms on your chairs. Just makes them look nice. Um, there we go. So now we have a piston table. I believe that's actually all we need to do on the inside. Last but not least, make sure you decorate it, or I mean light it up. So we'll put one there. And I always put my torches on the dark outside, uh, oops, like so. Just kind of looks nice. I think I had something in that corner, but I can't remember what it is. So I'll just put a chest. I don't think it was important, otherwise I probably would. And now you have the inside of your house looking like a real house. It's functional, you have furnaces, you have chests, you can actually do things. It's not just for looks. Uh, but now we need to work on the outside, so let's grab ourselves some stone brick. Just make ourselves a pathway out here. Uh, like this. Okay. So what I'm going to do right now is make that fence, that lovely fence you see over there. Um, like that, and I'll get back to you. I've said that a lot now, uh, when we finish that. The house is coming along nicely. I've finished the fence. It's very simple. You're just going to take your leaves and you're going to place them along like that. And at each corner, you're going to place a spruce slab and um, a stone slab on top of that. Minus this corner because it was starting to get a little too many. There were too many there, so I just left it open. And actually, I did forget to do this. Uh, we're going to surround this, the house in stone. I really don't want to record that because that's going to take, you know, 10 whole seconds, which is going to take longer to upload. But seeing as I've already done this much, what the hell, you know, we'll record it. I know you guys really want to watch me do this step. It's basically what makes it breaks your house. Uh, not really, not really. So we'll just uh, give that a little, a little touch. And this just kind of makes it look like your house is, you know, standing on a real foundation and not just sitting there buried under, um, you know, buried in dirt. And I always think that adds a nice touch. So as I said, I did the fence. The next step here is the, um, the, the pool. And I did this a little bit out of order, but that's okay. We're gonna fill the bottom in with gravel. Uh, because that's usually what's at the bottom of the pond. You could use, like, stone or something. Just don't use dirt. Dirt's at the bottom, but dirt also looks really ugly in Minecraft, so... We're going to avoid using dirt as much as possible. And then to add a little bit of a border, we're going to go around with stone slabs and just stone slab the border. Oopsies. And this also uh, helps to keep different textures apart. Even though they're uh, water, water and grass do not have the same texture, it helps to add kind of a dividing line in between the two. So fill your pool in until it's full, and you have that. Now, I believe the second to last step with the house is we're gonna go back to our spruce chairs like this. We're gonna make sure we have our signs. We're gonna go one, two, three. Put an armrest on this side. And actually, since I have a new style that I'm doing now, you can put an armrest on that side too. Originally, you couldn't in my other design. And we'll ourselves this and one more piston table just like that now you have your outside done the last thing we're gonna do is uh, on the very first house I built you can see I made a garden over there but let's be honest how many of you guys are our guys okay most of you and how many of us like gardens okay none of us so that's what I thought uh, so we're gonna go in here and we're gonna make a farm because we do like to eat eating is a much better thing to do than than gardening um, what am I doing what am I doing as this is only the second time I've made this farm, and you know, you think I'd know how to make a farm in Minecraft, but just don't even, don't even go there. I don't know what I'm doing at all. I need seeds, which are kept right there, like so. Okay, so we're gonna finish this off. It's gonna look lovely. Just uh, fill it in with water. You know how to make a farm. You don't need to watch this, but I don't want to cut. It's kind of short. You know, that's ridiculous. I would miss because now I have to take more time. I have to pick this up. Okay. And we'll plant this. Does anyone know what that mod is to get like more reach? And if it's been updated? Because that could be helpful. Like that. So I could like build this from far away. Okay. There's my rant. Now you're going to notice that I actually put water all the way over here too. 
Um, that's just because I, I am like OCD and I want my symmetry and I said symmetry is important. If we had left that as grass or just a hole, uh, it's not necessary to have that water there, but I think it makes it look nicer than not having it there. Um, so that, guys, is basically all there is to it. That is how to make a nice, simple house. It does not take a lot of supplies. I know this is not a mansion, but, you know, those mansion tutorials are cool, but how many of us can actually build those? You know, it's they're fun and creative, but in a real server, it takes a lot. So this is a nice-looking house that you can do very easily on your own um, in, in Minecraft on a server. Plain legit. Uh, the last thing to say, guys, I know I don't do these often. If you like this style at all, please leave a like. The more likes I get, the more likely I am to make more of these tutorials. If you want to see more tutorials, make sure to leave a comment saying what I should do in the next episode. Um, so I do hope you enjoyed this video, guys. It was kind of fun to make, so I do kind of want to do more of these. Over here is my uh, attempt at a modern house, which I'm not very good at, but maybe I could do one of those in a video in the future. So comment below if you like this series, guys. I definitely want to know uh, what you think, and come chill out my server. There's an IP in the description. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.